guys, Ashraf over here and this is the video about revisiting Trodo Vivas aftermarket radio over here first we need to unplug the car fuse for this radio over here so that we don't get electrocuted first to open this, the, to access the fuse panel is to open this lock box here and press both of these parts here, the plastic part Notice that this is the latching here, the notch. Press that, and another side, and you're free. And just pull it off like that. So this is the hinge, okay? That will latch onto this part here, over there. And this is the fuse box for every electrical component inside this car. Every car will have two type of fuse box one is inside the engine one is inside this cabin over here and to open this is not that very easy but you need to do a little bit of extra effort there's a lot of fuse over here we do not know which is which for the car's radio but we can refer to the cover of this fuse box here and the closest thing that I can think of for the radio is SIG, CIG, and SEC. But I'm thinking that it is CIG over here um, for cigarettes, for the cigarettes receptacle, and SEC. I'm not sure which one, but we'll try one of them by turning on the electrical component via the key. So I'm going to unplug the ACC first and this is this white stuff here is the clip for you to pull your fuse. So I'm going to pull out the ACC which is right hand side bottom second bottom here number two and then press inside there and pull it out. And now, I'm going to put inside here so that I do not lose them. Now to try the battery system, electrical system. Okay, the icons turn on. Everything's turned on, dashboard and everything else, but not the radio itself, which is good. Of course, we need to turn that off. Okay. Without the fuse inside there, the radio won't be turned on and there will be less risk of being electrocuted. And we can proceed with opening this panel over here. Okay, first off, to open this panel over here, the radio panel over here is to pull this knob of the icons here, four of them in total, and there will be one screw here in the middle, okay, one screw, and then this also we need to open this by just pulling this thing over here from the bottom here and slowly work out your way through the sides there so this is the dashboard panel here and from this side doesn't have any screw only held by one screw over here and we're going to unscrew this thing Ta-da! Okay, unscrew that. And grabbing from the bottom here, this part here, at the same time at the other side, to your right here, just pull it off. There, like that. It's quite rough. But it is okay. There you go. And this is the cigarettes receptacle. 
just pull it off I think yep pull it off so that you can get this thing out of the way okay now we have defaced the radio panel over here and there are four screws that will hold down the radio over here and one two three and four at the back over here and let's unscrew that okay now all of the four screws that holding down this radio together been removed now we just pull this radio out like so and this is the aftermarket radio not the original radio that came with any Pro Duos and as you can see I only use zip ties to hold down this radio because I don't have any proper mounting for this radio this particular radio with this mounting panel here same goes to the other side as well and yeah okay this is the radio nothing much and for this radio it's not I'm using the ISO version this is the ISO plug female plug and with the previous video you do not see which how do I wire them up but now that you are able to see that this is the original Daihatsu or Produas car entertainment receptacle there while this one the black one here is the antenna for listening to normal radios there you go and this one the brown and the black part here is the ISO plug for in-car entertainment okay this part is not easy to come by because it's quite expensive and might cost you quite a lot depending on where you source them but it is advisable highly advisable that you guys buy this for Daihatsu or your Radua car because it saves the time from wiring one each of this wire into one of the port here and also you will need to test which is which for the wire just see that how many wires that we have four five eight and we have a total of 13 wires here while this one sets you the time this car receptacle here or the plug here doesn't have any proper name this one is ISO okay I highly advise you to get ISO because ISO is being used worldwide and it's easier to find any radios that uses this so to attach this radio again this is the one the female plug for the Daihatsu and every most of the Japanese cars and that goes into here directly here Hello. there this one should clip to the back of here okay now another one make sure that your wire doesn't tangle too much and same thing just now make sure that this notch here goes all the way inside there you will hear some clip there now to attach this wire onto the back of this radio so why there are two of them while one of them is brown and another is black usually the brown part goes to on top and usually the brown plug is the power while the black part is the speaker speaker out this one's quite weak okay ah. this one need a little bit of extra effort 
where I need to manually pull this clip here so that it will lock itself onto this part this black part over here and this one is another speaker out just in case if you want to drive another set of speakers to your trunk or subwoofers it's up to you guys and this is antenna every radio has this port over here there you go okay done and now pushing it back inside make sure that your wire runs free doesn't get pinched inside there especially by the screws or anything else or anything that is sharp slowly put that put this thing back in okay like that so this is another notch a tab here align them with this part over here as well and now we can screw them in together to screw them i highly advise you to screw them diagonally why it is because that they will be aligned much better compared to by using like a spiral screw in just like how you change your cast tire okay now the radio has been attached with all of the four screw mountings has been attached as well and this size is one din din means that this is one tier type of radio if you happen to accidentally buy a two din type of radio don't worry you still can use that by using this part over here and you will lose this compartment here but nevertheless it's for the sake of in-car entertainment is it <laughs> And now getting the dashboard back. This is dashboard panel. To install this, we have to install in reverse. But before that, I need to attach this cigarette receptacle first. There. And do so by on top of this panel first. The most important part is actually to align this part here, the white part for the AC panel here, onto one of these mounting words here. Especially for both of these holes with this pin here. Okay. You can feel that by your hand. You can feel it with your finger it's already inside now slowly push it back okay testing make sure that there are nothing loose and now we put the odometer crank here make sure that this pin here aligns with this slot here and push them in Okay, same thing, testing if there's anything loose, okay, we're done, and the most important part is the final screw over here, now where's the screw, Okay. 
and lastly we put in the knob don't worry if the knob doesn't want to go in means that that knob isn't for that slot over here And there you have it. And this one is a 3D printed frame for this radio over here because without this custom frame, the radio will somewhat wobble there. So I made this frame so that so that it will stay centered, although it is not that elegant, but at least it's much more rigid and you wouldn't see this part anyway and lastly don't forget the fuse which is the ACC okay which is the ACC that we unplugged earlier for safety reason uses clip always And there you have it. And now, close this. Do not forget to put your. Do not forget to put back your fuse clip. There. And lastly, this cover. There. Make sure that it is quite rigid. Okay. And. You have to try out your radio, whether or not your radio will turn on or not. Now it's not turning on. Why is that? There. I just press this power button and it turns on. Okay, but please try with this kind of method right after putting on your radio and put in the fuse turn on the electrical stuff the battery and try turning on the radio this is the power button for this kind of radio your smile edge may vary but this is the aftermarket radio that i have right now and with that out of the way now we can finish everything together to put back this block box in line this hinge here to the step here okay make sure it clips both of them and this one and the other side just push it in together okay there you have it guys how I changed the Produa Viva stock radio into an aftermarket this is a revisit video of my previous years video that is very dark and this time very bright hopefully that you guys able to see everything and from start to finish on how to change the radio the best practice that i can think of of course mine may be not the best out there but hopefully it helps you guys so please share if you find this video helpful and do give me a thumbs up thumbs down it's up to you guys anyway do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also check my other videos of course i'm not a, ve a very keen on about scars accessory and i do random stuff and do not forget about the bells notification if i ever put up another video then you will get another notification check my patreon as well to support me over there and astraf signing out peace guys